Okay, we'll try this again. Hi, you guys. Um, I just recorded like five minutes of what I intend to say in this video. And my computer froze and lost the whole bit. So, it's been a while since I've made a video. I said I was probably going to be making them because I would have all this time on my hands. And uh, I've been homeschooling, I've been gardening, I've been doing yard work and focusing on my home and staying happy and that's taken all of my attention. And it's been beautiful. I hope the same for you if you've experienced anything negative in these past few weeks. Um, I feel you. I know that there's uh, some deep darkness manifesting in the world right now for lack of the ability to properly describe. The collective is conflicted. People are going back to work and uh, COVID numbers are rising. But anywho, um, the reason I'm making this video today is because I saw something last night that um, freaked me the fuck out. And it's a guy named Octavio Rettig, Rettig, who calls himself a shaman. He calls himself a doctor, who knows. I don't speak Spanish, so I couldn't find out a whole lot about him, but I know there is an open letter calling for the removal of him as a spokesperson for some foundation, probably having to do, I mean, most definitely having to do with sacred medicines, but I'm not sure what it is. And anytime I tried to open up this open letter, which also call, called out Gary Sandoval, I think, for rape. Because he, and he's a gynecologist, and apparently part of his guidance is that he gets to, uh, you know, rape his clients in their most vulnerable states with him. Anyway, but this Octavio guy, um, all I could find on the internet were um, testimonials. And one of these testimonials, though, it was almost like they had to include it to prove this guy didn't die from the experience. And I'm, I was alerted to this by another guy's video where he showed this other fellow getting just beat up and emotionally tormented while having taken like six powerful hits of the most powerful form of DMT there is. And they like let him fall back onto the beach at a downward angle and the way he cracks his head it was like an it was like i'm sure a nightmare for this guy and he was just in tears saying no to this man who still can you know got him to to hit it again cuz man um but this video that i'm linking in the description is much much worse so this guy takes a hit, goes into that out-of-body place where you don't have control over your body. And for, I didn't know, I don't, I didn't understand at first how he was staying up, but they were holding both his arms and his head was back and his jaw was dropped. Um, and he was just stiff. And eyes rolled back and then he the Octavio starts pouring water down his windpipe and for six minutes you listen to this man drowning and he adds water like two more times and then his buddy his fucking assistant <coughs> when he finally lays down excuse me um, his assistant pours water into his nose and mouth as he's trying to recover you see the guy afterwards, but the, the camera guy stops filming his face because it gets so blue. I, you see it turning purple as he's gurgling water through his lungs. And then the camera guy stops filming his, his, his face. So you see his body working at breathing and surviving. And uh, this shaman is patting his belly like you're, you're doing good. And... Uh, I mean, he's trying to kill this guy, and he has killed people. I know of a specifically a 40-year-old woman from Mexico 
who died of aspiration, but hers was also the water. But he put rape, I don't know how to say it, the tobacco you blow into somebody's nose. He gave her so much of that, her body went into shock. She aspirated her vomit once that tobacco got in her lungs. It was disturbing. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I'm working on two hours of sleep, and I had to talk about this. Um, he's he's selling this shit like he's helping people. And when you come out of a, an experience like this, it is automatic bliss and, and euphoria. No, and you aren't in your body to know what's happening. I don't, I'm not sure what the guy says in the testimonial because I couldn't, I don't understand the language, but he's standing there. He's half smiling. It looks as though he struggled with getting the water out. He was, he was shirtless in the video, but he was wearing a shirt in the end. Um, I'm sure he went home and succumbed to his injuries from pneumonia. Just the sound of it. And that they're shaking their rattles and they're singing and chanting. If this is evil, people are seeking help because they're desperate. I mean, this is fucking evil, this guy. And I think more people need to know about it. Need to know that there are people out there who are sadistic and are taking advantage of people in extremely vulnerable states. And especially the, the community of people who are driven to these things are hurting fucking people. Anyway, this is for anybody um, that my videos reach. Like, you know who you are. I know who you are. And I know how important this shit is um, to avoid, uh, to rally against. And to, um, to shine a fucking spotlight on because that was horrendous. Anyway, watch the video at your own risk. Comment, talk to me about this. What do you think? Uh, it's Mother's Day, so I'm going to go uh, uh, get ready to celebrate my children with my children. All right, happy Mother's Day, moms. Uh, gross. I don't want to say happy Mother's Day on a video like this, but... It is what it is. Um, all right, I'll see you.